Okay, that was a day we did a player analysis on the new Alessandro Brunigonio. Um, we're going to be having a look through this card. Sort of first, what we do with these fantasies is we're going to have a look and see how much we think he's going to get upgraded. So if we go ahead and look at Torino's next four games, or they might have played one already. Uh, I think they have, and they lost that one, so they need to get two wins out of the next three. Um, and that isn't likely for them. They've got Napoli, um, who just won 6-1. Um, so they're going to have to beat Fiorentina and Udinese, which could be quite hard for them as Fiorentina are higher than them in the table. Um, so, you know, that one might not happen. But in terms of the clean sheet one as well, um, they do keep a few clean sheets here and there. They did keep a clean sheet against Napoli last time. So, yeah, we, he probably will keep a clean sheet. Um, player makes three appearances. Is he appearing... Uh, he didn't play their last game. Uh, where is he? What's his name? Borneonio. Where is he? Did he just not exist? He's injured. Oh, Borneonio is injured, lads. So he won't be making three appearances in the next four games. Uh, and the club will not be scoring 11 goals because they just don't score goals to Reno, unfortunately. So let's actually jump into the analysis now. We've decided that he's probably only get, going to get like one upgrade. So already quite an L. Right. So he is six at four, medium high, three to three star, left foot and mostly lengthy. Okay. I don't mind that start. It's a good, big, beefy defender. Uh, and usually if you're going to go for one of these as one of your centre backs, you need a smaller one in there. Sort of around the six foot who is a lot faster um, but he looks like he's got a little bit of pace in him. And then in terms of linking him, you got Italy Serie A, which is also you know, uh, very nice there. And then obviously, if you've got any Torino cards, you can link him. I don't think there really is that many. Uh, just off the face, this card does look amazing of these stats. Got 83 pace, 56 shooting here. Uh, the finishing's really low there. He's got a lot of shot power, though. Um, but that obviously doesn't matter shooting. The pace is actually really good. I forgot to comment. It's actually very nice for a 6'4 person. So, because usually it'd be like 83 pace, but he has 89 sprint speed and 7 acceleration. Like, it's not that good usually. And the passing's actually really good as well, boys. You can see the curve and the free kick accuracy are low, but that doesn't matter for a centre-back. Um, The vision, short pass crossing and long pass are the sort of ones you want to look at there. And the short pass and long pass are brilliant. And same with the vision, it's all right. Uh, dribbling, we would usually want about 80, 83 agility and balance at this stage of the game for every single card, but because he's six foot four, um, that's actually very, very nice, boys. He's actually got very good agility and balance there. Then the rest of dribbling is good. Nothing wrong with that. Defending is amazing. Uh, very low heading accuracy, actually. I thought he'd be up in the 90s, to be honest. Um, but obviously if he can't header, then he can't header, but he's six foot four and that would have really benefited him. And then the physicality is amazing as well. So the play styles, we've got two play style pluses. I can already see one good one. Anticipate plus. I love this one. It's my favourite play style plus in the game for defenders. And then we've got slide tackle plus. Which is also a really, really good one there, boys. Uh, so, and the rest of it, we've got bruiser, aerial, first touch, block, and ping pass. So the price of this card at the moment is 100k. And it is an 84 squad of a team in a week and an 85 squad of a team in a week. So it could be a bit of a pickle to complete. Um, but it's not that expensive, nonetheless. And it is a half decent card, but I would only complete this if you have like a Serie A team um, and you're in need of centre back. I don't think it's one you should be going out of your way to complete. 